Hi friends, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart and today I thought we could do a really small haul. I had a, I wouldn't call it a recent purchase because I actually ordered this I think back in January, but it turned out that this item was not in stock and but they ordered it from the manufacturer for me so all is good. Anyway, the company I ordered from is Appel Boom, not sponsored, just the first time that I purchased anything from them. They, I think they're like a European retailer, but they also have a shop in Boston. So, sorry, I'm like, got a cold today. Back to being sick. Yay. Anyways, so this pen had been sold out everywhere, and I really, really wanted this colorway. And so I took a chance and ordered from them, and it turned out, it turned out good. So I've already opened this, but I got this... Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 and this one is in the color Anemone. <laughs> I can't talk. That's the color. It's like this yellow orange with purple. It almost has like a cat's eye feel to it and if you can see like the way they laid in the resin it's just beautiful. And so this is a steel nib pen and it's a piston filler so no uh, cartridge or converter needed and so yeah I'm excited this is actually my third Leonardo um, I think I'm gonna ink this one up today so let's ink it up and I can do my first impressions because I think I have the perfect ink for this uh, this pen so I'll be right back okay so I brought you in a little bit closer. I actually have two inks and I can't decide yet. Um, these are both kind of new to my collection. I think I both got both of these from Jet Pens. And so I'm gonna do a quick swatch. This is like my like quick swatch book. It's a take and out uh, record. And this has got Tomoe River paper, the thicker kind just blank and because it's glue bound things just like rip out of it really easily so it's I definitely wouldn't say that it's um good for like if you want to keep everything in this book because I've had some pages in the front just kind of like come out because they're just basically glued right there very lightly um but this has been great for like really quick ink swatches that I don't want to put in my ink journal for better <laughs> better term or not I don't know so the first one is dominant industry Earl Grey tea you, know, you can't see that I'm like I tip the thing um I have had my eye on this one for a while it is very orange so let's see I typically don't go like towards the orange side of things so this would be a just something different from the inks I normally use. I think I stay typically in like browns and purples and mauves and that is like typically my favorite colorway but I've been trying to branch out more so let's see this is dominant industry Earl Grey tea Oops. There. So I'm using the Sailor uh, Hokuro dip pen with the 1.0 calligraphy nib. I don't know how to write calligraphy, so I don't know how useful this nib is for me, but it is kind of interesting to write with. Um, a nib that is like super flat at the end. So that is that one. Let me just wipe the nib off. I did order the extra feed for this nib and it's working out really well. Um, surprisingly, it holds quite a bit of ink with the, the feed. Okay, so there's option A. And then, so that's Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. And so option B is Robert Oster. Oh, look, I got ink all over my hand. I knew that was going to happen. 
Yay! That means if I film any other videos today, you'll know because I have the proof on my hand that I filmed it after. Note to self, film ink. It's like I got it on this hand too. Um, film ink videos. Holy cow, like how klutzy am I? Okay, yeah, it's like all over my hand. Okay, typically I don't get it all over my hand. Um, so yeah, anyway, Ozzy Brown from Robert Oster. This one I think is more of like a terracotta color, but we'll see. I haven't swatched this one yet, so. Well, that's a pretty color. I'm like on the hunt for the perfect like terracotta. I don't feel like this is like, this doesn't scream terracotta to me. This is very close. It just seems like a little bit more brown and less orange. I don't know, maybe this one might be. Okay, so anyway, so we're Robert Foster. This is Ozzy, Ozzy Brown. Okay. I don't know if you can hear, like, the pen does scratch against the paper. But, I mean, you can't expect much from a, a fairly cheap dip pen that I would say is, like, decent for what it is. Um, I do like it better than, like, a glass dip pen. I'm just not a huge fan of glass dip pens. And I got more ink all over my hands. Excuse the inky hands. So... There's Robert Oster's Aussie Brown. Honestly, I think I might go with the Dominant Industry one. I think that's closer because it's like really playing off of that like orangey tone in there. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's see if I can fill this up gracefully or uh, totally make this a crazy... Um, experience for all of us to watch. So I have to say though, I'm not a huge, despite like how beautiful this pen is, I'm not a huge fan of the, the piston filling mechanism just because I hate getting my nibs like all covered in ink. And I'm usually, if I'm using a converter, I will fill it up with a syringe just to kind of like not have to deal with the um the mess but say la vie right okay okay let's Fill up. So it does have the little ink window so you can see the ink is going in there. And I'm assuming that it has a pretty large capacity just because how far the plunger seems to be in there. So there's the mess that I'm going to hopefully not screw up and <laughs> get more ink all over my hands. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. So I can't tell, I can't tell how well I did because it is like pretty much opaque. Um, but as you can see, I do have some ink in there. I think I did an okay job. So <laughs> there we go. So let's cap that for a second and let me get all of this mess out of the way. Okay. Okay, let's see. So it feels good posted. I will say that. Um, I'm going to put the box over here so I can actually spell what this is. Because it has a very long name. So this is the Leonardo uh, Memento. Mm 
zero. Grande. 2.0. Oops. Point should be there. <laughs> So I will say it is a very, very smooth writer and a wet one too for a steel nib that is extremely smooth. And I did get it in the fine nib and I'm glad I did because I think anything, um, anything larger would have been too much. And it does seem to keep up with faster writing. So. I will say I'm impressed. I knew I would be because I like the other ones that I purchased. Um, if you're looking for a good pen, like a solid writer, the Leonardo's are really stunning pens and really good writers. So I would definitely check them out if you're looking for something new to try. But yeah, you can see and the Earl Grey does really good with um, it's not feathering really. So yeah. I think that is all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in my like little mini, I guess, review and kind of looking at the pen. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.